Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shambi on the play-by-play -play with you. Chris Singleton providing the color. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a... Just about to get started. And today's starting pitcher, Chris Sale, singing he can pick up his 20th win of the season in this one. As simple as it sounds, it's not that simple, but he's got to just look at it as another start. Go out there, throw whatever the catcher puts down, and just go to work. Out towards left center, Martinez on his way over. He's got it. And there's one down. And now for Washington, Stone Garrett. Garrett. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0 1. 0 1. Sale, multi time all star. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a oh. sinker. And he handles it himself for the out. That's what a good sinker is designed to do get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs, bases empty. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. And that is that. So one left for Washington. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. Back here with my pal Siggy. And pitching in this game, Tanner Rainey. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Siggy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. And he's doing tremendous out there on the map. Here's Brian Snickers lineup for the Braves. They've had a great year offensively, as good an offensive team as you will find. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Two outs, bases empty, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr., And a foul ball. In the air, out towards right center. Thomas on the move to the alley. Brings it in, and that's the inning. Scoreless. And we're back. Second inning set to go. Up now for Washington, Ryan Clifford. Hey. That one finds the corner, and that's strike one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone bird. He kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone, and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent, so you got to stay ready up there. And first offering is fouled off. Get on the ground to the right side. Olsen oh. steps on the bag. Two up, two down. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back at Truist Park, and now Matt Olsen up to hit. The first base and a pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. That's a base hit. 
And a board on the leadoff single. Just so sound in his mechanics. Right, it's against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Austin oh, Riley in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle. But you this one swung on and hit well. Way back there. It's a bomb. That'll fire up the dugout. His 57th homer of the season. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there, too. Gave it a great effort, but, you know, those plays are so tough to pull off. And I'm sure all these has to step out of the way for ball one. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Call makes the grab on the run. No, well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Jason Delay now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. And miss you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Righty delivers. Pitch misses. Two and one. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch misses way outside. Side and that is ball, ball four. four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. This is Charlie Culberson to hit. Too much swing and miss in his at bats recently, striking out nearly twice in each of the last five games. Call right there to make the grab. And yeah, there's two away. Here's David Fletcher. No left field. Line drive. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. He needed out one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And a foul ball. up right side Clifford moving under it makes the play and it's out number three Braves pick up two on the long ball it's now a two nothing ball game it back here in Atlanta and now the rookie second baseman Nassim Nunez hard hit right side Albies over to first in time and one away in the top of the third Alex Call digging in for the Nationals. In there for strike one. Call goes five feet, 11 inches, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Abrams, the next to hit, takes outside. And that's dealt it away. Two outs. To the right side. Olsen oh. takes it to the bag. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for Washington. And they're down 2-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Jared Kelman. The designated hitter. Jared the right-hander back to work. Ball oh. one, no strikes. Oh. 
Swing and a miss as he was late. Bringing the cheese on that one. Popped up on the left side of the infield. Senzel settles underneath it. And out number one on the grab. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo, light tower power. That's right. First pitch just misses. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. You got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect them to swing at. And puts the squeeze on that one. That's out number two. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And that one hammered. That's not coming back. A massive home run. Home run number 65 of the year. And they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Sure, there's a big grin on his face right now, Boo. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like he was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Here's Austin Riley. Ball one. That misses the zone. Ball one. And a base hit right there. And that keeps the inning alive. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Albies in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Riley leads off first with two down to the inning. New one. In the dirt, blocked. Well done behind the dish. And the righty deals. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. 2-2 Two -two now. Good job to fight that one off. One run across to the frame so far here in the rubber match of this three-game series. Still two and two after the foul ball. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Kicks and fires. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. And that one is gone. A soaring shot to center. His 63rd home run of the season. And they add to the lead. It's 5 zip. Singy, he's got a nice hitting streak going, and he extends it another game with that swing. So locked in right now, Boog. And clearly, it's not like he's just stringing singles together during this streak. Does an excellent job of getting his arms extended to get the fat part of the bat to the baseball. Wrists do not roll over. They stay through the zone and on plane. Excellent swing. In the air, center field. Cruz makes the grab, and that's the inning. Albies with the key hit for Atlanta. And the lead is now 5-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And we're back. We John Chomby with now. Chris Singleton and is, set to lead off the fourth, so, Stone Garrett. 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 The wind and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. 
Well, these Nats just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. I think things are happening a little quicker than this offense would like, and we see no it in the numbers. Right. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in the at-bat. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Ruiz takes low. Second trip to the plate in this one. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. And the count even at one. One down, base is empty. Hit in the air, right field. Acuna has it sized up. Calls it in, and there's two away. Here's Lane Thomas. Slice down the right side. Popped in the air. Left field. Fletcher moves under it. Makes the catch in and over. Richard Blyer takes over on the mound. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. As the lefty gets to work. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Braves doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boo. Hey. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Side low, and it's one and two. That's to third. Senzel throws the first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now back, left fielder, David Fletcher. Next to hit, David Fletcher. And he's already singled in this game. He swings and fouls one off. And he deals. That oh. one close, ruled a ball. And it's a ball and a strike. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. pitch swing and a miss and he chases that one in the dirt gets to it on to first out two away now after the drop third strike back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup so now to the plate for Atlanta Julio Pablo Martinez ground ball to the right side tosses to the pitcher covering the bag and that will end the inning Set down one, two, three, but they hold a five nothing lead. Clifford hey. batting for the second time, and that's strike one. You know, these Nationals just aren't putting together very many hey. good at bats in this one. Just one no base runner to this strike. point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup. Fielder, Dylan Cruz. Fastball hey. for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Three. Got him looking. Fastball at the letters, throws him for strike three. Two outs, base is empty. Now, Nick Senzel. Senzel. That's in there. Strike one. Two down, nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. Next offering is downstairs. One and one. And nope. another ball. Two balls, one strike. Yeah. And strike two. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. That one three. inside, and it's a full count. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Delay puts it away, and that'll do it. So they've been held scoreless through five. 
It's the Braves five and the Nationals nothing. Back at Truist Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now in for the Braves, Jared Kellner. And a pitch. And there's the strike. You know, these Braves really oh, impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. And he'll two. He stops center field. Cut the extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Really stayed true on that swing. It wasn't an easy pitch. Lefty on lefty. Pitch was a little down, a little bit away. But he committed to it. And his shoulders stayed square to the plate. Didn't try to pull off that ball at all. And that's why it jumped off the bat. No outs. Runner on second. That one. misses the zone, and that's ball one. That one just misses. It's a good take. That one misses, and it's three and two. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Last half of inning number five. Three. Got him looking, and that's the first out. That's just a nasty pitch right there, and I'm not surprised at all that he got the strikeout looking. You know, at the plate, looks like it's a fastball off the corner the entire way until just that very last second when that cutting action takes over and brings it back to clip the outside corner. You just got to tip your cap sometimes, but overall, that's just a nasty pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field, under this one. Makes the catch for the out. And there's two down. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Man at second. One and one. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Runner at second, two down. Here in the rubber match of this three game series. A one two. There's a swing and a drive. Cruz going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. So one hit is all they get. Five innings complete. It's the Braves five and the Nationals nothing. Back here in Atlanta, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Nassim Nunez. Swing and a miss. Nunez once. in his rookie season, 23 years old. He's playing today oh, in his home now. state of Georgia. Ground ball, Olsen. He steps Got out of the bag. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Next to hit for the Nats, Alex Call. In there, and it's 0-1. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The Braves leading by five, and we're at the top half of the sixth. This looks like extra bases, and that rolls into the corner. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in, but he's in there easily. Back to the top of the lineup, C.J. Abrams digging in for the Nationals. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches or strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Runner at second here, one gone. One and ball, ball one. Two strikes.
ground ball up the middle. Throws the first in time. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Garrett in the box now. No balls in a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. Ground ball right side. Throw on to oh. Olsen. And that is the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Braves five and the Nationals nothing. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Dylan Floro. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. So two oh, balls and no strikes. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. That one finds the corner, and that is strike one. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Two, two. Next offering misses down and away. balls in this at bat so far and these two are going head to head you can see the crowd they're starting to get into it a little bit more that one ripped right center field that'll make it out of here another homer he's done it again his second homer of the game and they add a run it's six nothing he kept swinging and it paid off well that was a battle boog and he just kept taking his cuts finally squared one up Pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Swing and a ground ball out to short. On to first, one away, bottom of the sixth. The batter number four, shortstop, Charlie Culberson. Charlie Culberson, next up for the Braves. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swing it a foul straight back. Got him. Now two away. The left, the left fielder, fielder number 22. Here's the left fielder, David, David Fletcher. One Fletcher. for two. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. This one in the air. Settles under this one. And makes the grab. That is the inning. Braves get one on the big fly. It's now a 6-0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the catcher, Hebert Ruiz. Outside corner, there's a strike. Timing issues can snowball quickly, and that's what we're witnessing here. This lineup's inability to lock on to the pitcher's delivery is causing a few awkward swings. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. That one is absolutely belted. And off the base of the wall. And he's got a double. 
Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Oh, Next offering is in for a strike. Thomas, the runner at second with one away. There's the strike. One ball, two strikes. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. Dylan Cruz digging in for the Nationals. First Don't pitch doesn't down. find the zone. Got a nope. good eye there. Two balls, one strike. That one ripped. And that should be extra bases. He's in safely at second. And a run comes in to score. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One run across in the frame so far here in the top half of inning number seven. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And that is that. So it may be too little, too late. But they're on the board here in the late going. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. You're watching Major League. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jordan Weems. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the now, score right, right where it is. Point. Seems like a tough task there. today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Mm. Here comes a pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that gets down into the gap. Around first, heading for two. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position. Now... There are several ways that they can get this run across. And now Ball here one. is Jared Kellner. Ball one, no strike. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here at the bottom of the seven. Next Two offering balls, way no off strike. the plate. Action in the pen down there. Derek Law looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. In the air, left field. That one gets down for a hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. 0-2 oh, now. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch with the best pitch you possibly can and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Ow! He got him! What a throw! Man at first, one away. Next offering is outside. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. Man at first. Here is Matt Olson. He's already homered here in this one. And it's fouled away. Kelnick, the runner at first with two gone. Comes up empty. That's strike two. No ball. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. Ripped on a line and gone. Another homer. His 66th home run of the season. And they add a couple more. It's 8-1. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. He 
was a pretty hard slider, but when it doesn't break, it's just like a good fastball to hit. And right there, eyes got big, hit that ball really hard, and now he's getting high fives in the dugout. And first offering is fouled off. And a foul ball. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. The Braves up big in this one here in the third and final game of the series. Next nope, pitch is outside. outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. Braves pick up two on the long ball. It's now 8 to 1. And we're back. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Ronaldo Lopez. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. So, man aboard, Alex Call digging in for the National. Culberson, off balance beat. Out. There's one. He A sensational it. double play. The back, the back. Nice soft hands on the backhand right there in the six hole. Starts the double play. It's not an easy throw, but he puts it on the money. Really good job to get that double play started. On the ground to third. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. That ball was drilled. 106 off the bat. And that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. And that'll do it. This one pretty well decided at this point. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the break. On to the bottom of the eighth. To the batter now, Ozzy Albies. The pitch. He was late there, strike one. one, one. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He's been great in this one. Eye hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. And one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. In the That's dirt, perfect. ball two. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. The pitch. Three. Swing and a miss struck him out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jason DeLay. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. No Once the number four. The pitcher, there's a Short lot of base hits up the middle, Short even on the ground balls. So a nice Short job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Culberson in now, now. One oh. takes ball one off the plate. Delay leads off first with one away. At the belt and fires. That's ball two. On the ground to third. And he picks it up in foul territory. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Two-two now. Fouls it back with two strikes. And the right-hander deals. Ground ball left side could be two. Slings to second, on to first, double play. And that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Through eight full, it's the Braves eight, and the Nats one. And welcome back to the ballpark. 
Here's the catcher, Hebert Ruiz. First offering, and it just misses. Lopez, 30 years old now, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And ball another three. ball. Three balls, one strike. Foul ball there. Fights it off, he'll see another. Well, pretty clear to me, he's trying to go deep right there. But you got to get a pitch. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. To the warning track, makes the catch. He's two outs away. And yeah, the batter now, Lane Thomas. That's through there for a strike. All one for down. Up That's and one in. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Base is empty, one away. You're at the top of the ninth. The one-one is fouled off. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long oh, enough on that one. Clifford stands in now and watches strike one. Pulverson. On the first, ball game. And the Braves win the rubber match of this three-game series. I'd say this team really needed to win this game today. It pushed them over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road in the next series, going into some hostile territory, you want to have a lot of confidence, and you want to be feeling really good about how you're playing, as well as to your left and your right, your teammates, that they're on track as well. And this one finishes with a final of 8-1. to one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon.